Hey, 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 hey. Well, we have two in the house. We have, hello, Jen, how's it going? First one here, Chris, hey there, how's it going? Uh, I'm hoping some more jump in. This is going to be a little bit of preview. Um, what I'm gonna be doing, some of the stuff I'm gonna be auctioning off Tuesday night. And hey, Annie, hello, hello, sweetie. Uh, I look really kind of funny color because I'm sitting in this basement and over in the other side where there's just lamps. That will change in a minute. Um, just wait for people to come in. And I want to show you some of the stuff that I have. Hey, my sister. Shirley, why don't you call me tonight? We could chit chat. Or I'll call you when I have a chance later tonight. Hi. Hey, there's Ella. Hi, Ella. How you doing? So I'm going to go over some of the things I have set up that I'm going to go through. And uh, I'm just going to kind of show you the video. I'm not going to stay on long because I still have a lot to do. And if there's anything at all you guys see that you might be interested in, um, leave in the comments um, in the video because I have so much stuff. I know I'm not going to get to probably half of this Tuesday night. Um, but some of the stuff, Victoria and I are going to be doing these auctions every other Tuesday. So, um, I know if I don't get to it this Tuesday, then I'm, I'll get to it the next, you know, time we do it or after that. And some of the stuff though, if there's, if there's absolutely no interest at all, then I'm just going to start listing, um, on eBay or get rid of, I'm going to start boxing stuff up too, that I'm going to give to my girlfriend because she's doing the flea market again this um, summer. I'm not, I might go there for once or twice, try to sell some stuff, but I'm not committing and paying and going every single weekend. It's just too much. I don't want to do it. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to move over here because my heat's kicking on. So if there's anything at all that you guys see that you might be interested in, please let me know because I will put that up first on Tuesday. Um, cause like I said, I know I'm not going to get to everything. Well, I didn't know I looked so bad y'all. <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is. That's what it is. Anybody else come in? Boatman. Hey, you, how you doing? How's it going? So, um, give it a couple minutes. I don't know if anybody else will jump in. I hope others do because I know there'll be more than this at um the auction tuesday night so there's dawn hey dawn how you doing it's got to be more than this coming at our auction on uh tuesday hopefully it usually gets pretty crazy some of the things i have up to 
I don't know if I will auction. I'll show you guys. Uh, some vintage t-shirts that I got. That's a pretty cool one. Desert. But I really like this one. I've had this for a long time. I got this at the one place that my girlfriend and I go to. And... I want to say that was 50 cents or 25 cents. Yeah, it is vintage. The tag you can see. And yes, it is single stitched. Probably can't see that very good. But... So these are some of the things. Um, I don't know if I'll even get to these or not. This is a pretty cool one, too, that I got same place. Another vintage one. Pretty cool. I don't think they were ever worn. So that's a couple of the things. I don't know if I'll get to those because there's so much stuff. Oh, my goodness. There's so much. Let's see if anybody else is in. Hey, little Debbie. What's up, Miss Nan? I think... Well, sister, I'm telling you, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I already have set up because the auction this week is going to be down here in my basement with me. For me, that's going to be so much either. I hope I can easier. I hope I can get more stuff up quickly to get some of this out. So I'm just going to go over everything that's out right now. I know I won't get to everything Tuesday night, but if you see anything, anybody sees anything, Tell me in the comments below, um, not in the chat. Leave a comment so that I know I can go back, and then that way I can pull those things up first on Tuesday. That's what I want to do. So um, everybody knows, hey, Lewis, how's it going? I think that's everybody that came in. What did Boatman say? Frozen pipes and stuck. Oh, no. That's not good at all. That really stinks. That is terrible. It's so cold. It is cold here, too. High, I think, today. Um, 20-something. I don't know. It is cold. And we've been getting snow on and off, too. Not fun. Oh, Ella, you're going to your first bin shopping. Oh, man, I wish I was with you. That's so much fun. I wonder what the bins are like there, though. I've heard so many different stories about bins. Some say the bins are, people are freaking nuts. They just go bananas. And others say, no, they they blow whistles and then you get to go. And you have to stand back on lines and all this other garbage. The bins were out of the closest ones about an hour away from me. I've been there twice um, last year, and they were, they're not like that at all, those bins I go to. They're, they're just people, a few people shopping. You just go in, and you kind of shop around and get what you want, and nobody's grabbing or pulling or fighting or anything. It's crazy. So it all depends on where you're at, what state you're in, and what bins you go to, but I hope yours is good, Ella. That'll be fun. That will be fun. Listen to Chris. What did you say? He is just washing his car outside. La, 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 la. <laughs> That's going to be me next year this time. I'm going to be hanging with Victoria in Florida. I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. Hey, Ray, how you doing? Thank you again, Ray, for your donation. Um, appreciate that very, very much. You're a sweetheart. You know that. One degrees there, Jen. Oh, that's so outside right now. Well, with the wind blowing, the wind is terrible here, too. It's probably 10 degrees. Maybe between 10, 20, something like that, I would guess. One to. One, one, whoa, are you kidding me? Holy smokes, Boatman, that's horrible. That is just crazy. 
That's a shame. Okay, guys, I'm just going to try to do this. Um, Oh, you're in Florida. Oh, sweet. I can maybe visit you next year when I come. It's Ben Deals, Palm Beach, Florida, just 58 minutes from me. Can't wait. It's $3 Monday. Sweet. Um, Carol, um, Butterfly uh, Hustle, she um, showed a video that she they have certain colors and it's only a dollar. The items are a dollar. So that's a pretty good deal. That's why I keep that AAA paid up. You probably already know about that, though. Yeah, I've had AAA before. It's helped me a few times. Hey, K Fry, how's it going? 64 degrees in Vegas. I could do that, too. Shirley, let's go to Vegas. Oh, yeah, I wish. 18 there in Michigan. Yep. Oh, man, that's horrible. Okay. Um, first of all, this... Uh, I'm going to show you my clothes. There's a ton of clothes. I don't know if anybody's interested in clothes, if anybody's going to want to buy clothes, but it seems like a lot of people come to the auctions. They do buy the clothes. So um, I got a bunch of clothes. I pulled a lot of stuff out that I've been, oh, Jan, you didn't have to do that. What a sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's not why I came on here. Appreciate it though. Very much. Jen is awesome. Come to Arizona. Annie, that'd be sweet. I'd love Arizona. That nice dry heat, it suit me just fine. It would be. I got some good stuff Friday. My first ever Ben's trip. Yeah, you did. You really did. Okay, so here's some clothes. So I have all of these are like adult clothes, men's, women's. So, of course, I'm going to go through some of those and see how they go and how this sales. Then I have this, guys. These are kids' clothes. You have to turn it around. I'm not sure you can see, but I think you can. So, these are kids' clothes. And pretty much, I'm going to be selling kids' clothes for probably, it's going to be in lots because I have them all set up like, this is a lot of nothing but um, size 18 months. There's a lot of 18 months. Like there's a lot of these newborns, a lot of um, zero to three months, a lot of three to six months, a lot of four T's, three T's, whatever. So what I'm going to do is I have it figured out. If there's like 20 in a lot, I'm going to say you can have it for 10 bucks. That's like 50 cents a piece. And then we go into the bigger size sevens. These are eight. These are nice shorts. And they are like brand new. I don't know if they were ever worn. But a lot of this is my grandkids, of course, that they grew out of. Then we have bigger boy stuff. A lot of t-shirts. A lot of jeans. Um, so that's a lot of clothes. So yeah, I'll be spending time. I don't know how much time on clothes, it depending when the auction starts and I start asking and putting up clothes, see who's interested or who's not. But if anybody's interested, put in the comments after the video and I'll put those clothes up first. Cause obviously I'm not going to get to all them clothes. Probably not. Hey, Glenn. Hello. How you doing, sweetie? What? You're going to Texas. See your son. Oh, man. I want to go. My boys need to move out of town so I can go visit them. My oldest sister's one son lives in Palm Springs, California. She goes in February to see him. Now your son lives in Texas. Now you're going to start February going to see him. All my kids live right here. I can't go anywhere warm in February. But next year, Dave is saying, and he's been looking, he's buying a place in Florida. So surely, guess what? Next year, maybe January or March, you can come to Florida with me. Come get me, Nana. We'll go see Annie. Yes, let's go, Debbie. Wish I could. I can't. Can't leave. Can't do it. Not yet. 
Cute kids' clothes. Yes, thank you. They are. Any two or three women's. Yes, Jen. I do. Susan, Triple V, how's it going? Hey. Not a lot, Jen. Um, but there are some couple pieces. Talabots, and it's nice brands. Talabots is a 3X. Shirley, I think you gave me this blouse that I never wore. That's a 2X. Get rid of that. That's still got tags on it. It's cute. Never wore it. Then depending on how warm you need. That's just a couple of things. Then it goes in. There's a lot more just um, XLs. All those are XLs. And I didn't even open this bag. This is my girlfriend. These are all dresses. And I'm thinking these are all very small sizes because I think they were hers when she um, was a small size. And that's why she gets trying to sell them because she can't fit into them anymore. So we have them close. And... Um, I don't know if you guys do housewares or if you want. There's a bunch of tablecloth. Round. There's Valentine, St. Patrick's, the springtime, and a blue one. Now these ones, they're in the package, but they were they are used. These ones are brand new, never out of the package. Placemats, a set of four placemats. Envelopes. Cards. And there's a lot of trinkets and um, glassware. Bottles. A couple Christmas items. Hope the light is good. So I'm kind of trying to go slow so you can see what's down there. I hope you can see. Hope uh, I forgot who bought bought a pair of these. They were matching Pyrex ones. I only have this one. It's Pyrex, and this is an old restaurant wear. Um, Pyrex, but I only have one of each in their different styles. Mickey Mouse. I have uh, only three of these cassettes, video games. Well, not video games. I'm sorry. Duh. VHS. Hey, Harry. Hi. What's going on here? This is what I'm showing, what I'm putting up for auction on Tuesday night. Some of the stuff. And if you're interested, let me know. Because I'll try and put it up first. Leave a comment in the, um, there's a glass insulator. Why, yes. Yes, there is. You have a ton of these. Harry, if you want this, come to the auction. I will give it to you for $1. Because I want it gone. A gun? Yeah, there was a little gun. Hey, Scarlett, how you doing? Were those glass... Wait, let me see. This is just a little... This is a metal toy gun. Look like a little... I don't know. It's just for play. It's a little gun. Um, this is a pretty cool piece, too. It's an old knife. And this will give you guys a chance to look this stuff up if you want online and see what the value is of these. And this has um, coding on the back, Morse code. Let's see. These are some really pretty Christmas ornaments. 
They're like um, glass. There's six of them. Three have the hooks on the bottom still. Three do not, but the hooks are included. They would need glued back in. If anybody would like those. These are adorable. Christmas. Um, so I'm showing them what's going to be um, at the auction. So if you're seeing anything, I'm I'm going to go back around. Hi, Gloria. How's it going, sweetie? And um, what did you say about Mickey Mouse? There's a set of three. That's a pretty good shot there. You can kind of see everything. A lot of stuff on the table. Set of three of these. A pair of these. Joey Bada Bing, where are you? And Eeyore. That's Winnie the Pooh. I have one of these left. I bought a whole bunch of these at Ollie's and um, sold them all. But this one, it still is good until May of 21. So that's May few months. So I thought if anybody's likes hazelnut for their coffee, here's a nice set of creamer. I mean, sugar and creamer. They match. It is signed. Uh, Limoges. Limoges. I forget Annie. Limoges, right? Limoges. So that's nice. Here's a nice sugar that um, actually still has the spoon with it, which is kind of rare. And it is Nippon. Nippon. I think it's marked Nippon. Yes. Nippon. No chips or cracks or anything. So that's a nice piece. This is a very old piece. Um, made in USA. So I do have the glassware, that's for sure. It's another one. I love this Oriental style. But, um, this is... Uh, little finger bowl. I had this up before, but I don't think anybody was interested in it. And this I had up before, but nobody wanted it. A uh, blue bottle. I'll go this way. But there's cassettes, VHS tapes. There's some lamps. Lots of lamps. This cassette player recorder, I have to test it yet. I don't know if it works. It was in the original case, but when I opened it, the case was kind of messed up, and I could tell that it had been out, and I opened this for the batteries. There were batteries still in it. Not too badly rusted batteries, but I still want to test it to see if it works. And I'll probably do that today. Oh, well. Um, bells. Um, here's some nice pieces of hall pottery. And that's hall pottery. That's hall pottery. Um, can't get through these lamps. There's a nice old, old, old shade. I think this is hall. Yeah, I think that's hall pottery. Um, this one is McCoy. McCoy pottery, but there is a little chip right here. It was like that when I got that. Still a nice piece, though. It is marked McCoy. McCoy. Um, this I was hoping... Oh, never mind about that. I wanted to ask you guys while I have this stuff out because I 
There's an incense burner. I think I tried to sell that before. Nobody wanted it. It's marked. I wanted to ask you guys, there's a wicker basket about this piece. I have searched and searched. I still can, much as I searched, I cannot find anything about it. Maybe you know, Harry, if you're still there, I hope. It is not marked. There was a sticker, it looks like, was on there, which is what they did back in the day before they started marking them. There's there's definitely like a round spot. I don't know if you can see it. Like there was a sticker on there. This is glass. No chips or cracks. I have no idea who the maker is or what it's for. And the top is tin. Never seen nothing like this. And I can't find anything like it online. So I'm not sure about that piece. If anybody's interested in any of that, let me know. Lamps. Telephone. Old phone. Still has somebody's phone number on it. Old pot. Um, clippers. Hair clippers. This little TV. AM, FM. Now I tested it today. It does work. But there's no cords that come with it. I used my own cords that I have. But it does work. Awesome. Little TV. Coffee pot. Pot. Unsolved case file. Now this is all my ephemera stuff. I haven't gone through yet. I still have some records. I got rid of some of them. But these are some of the records I'm going to put up if anybody's interested in. 78s. Big dry. Or um, LPs. Toys. How about uh, fly swatter? Anybody need a fly swatter or what is this stuff? Vinyl adhesive coating. This is vintage. It is Superman. Nice Superman pattern. Contact paper stuff. This is new in box. Never been out. It's a imaging drum from Dell. Not sure what that's all about, but it is. I have a couple of these kind of things, 1967 calendar, fabric calendars, there's an old Dell computer, there's some toys, so that's part of it, let me see, who did I miss coming in, who is here, and what is going on? Hey, no money. G, how you doing? Gina, hey, hello, hello. Um, let me see. So at auction, you'll do three lots of each time that Victoria does three. That's right. I do three lots and Victoria does three lots. And I probably didn't even get half as much as I have out now last time. And we it took us almost three hours. Chat's got to learn to say pass. Plus, I wish there wasn't such a lag. We have to wait for a lag all the time. But you know how that goes. Um, we'll get through as much as we can. This is some of the stuff I'm getting rid of either way. Whether I do it this Tuesday, I'll do it this Tuesday. And if there's no interest, I'll try it again probably one more time. Still no interest in some of the stuff. Then that's it. I'm done. I'll bring out all new stuff because I got like five times this much. So that's... Good until then. See, is anybody else I missed that came in? Kay Fry Harry, I said hello. Greg, spreading cheer. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? How's it going? Um, Just the important people are here, Trish. You got that. You're right. You're right, Gina. Ones I love the most. Hey, Jennifer. That's no problem. Just going through this stuff. Spreading cheer. Hi, hi, hi. Um. Just showing what's going to be at the auction, Jennifer, on Tuesday. And then if anybody wants anything, um, leave a comment after this video post so I know. So I can go back this week, tomorrow, tonight, whatever, and pull it. Okay, you need a wrench. And then you know you always can drop your links 
post your links. There you go. You should have a blue wrench now. Um, well, I missed it all. No, you didn't. I didn't even get halfway done yet. Well, maybe half. I don't know. Um, so let's go back to the table. Here's some more stuff. There's a little truck. There's some pictures. These are still new. They're still in, they're still wrapped. This is a picture of Pittsburgh. And um, if you want to look that name up, it's S-T-A-R-E-C-K. If you can even see it, I can't tell if you can see it or not. And these are what's called lithos. And this one, still in this package also. And it's F-K-A-S-S-E-L, Cassell. And it has litho in USA. Kind of cute. And I did put out some stuff because I got so many of these from the reseller that I bought that lot from. So if anybody needs any nozzles, I do have those listed right now. But I have like 50 of them. Some old shop bags from... Um, what are these called? Shot, you know, little BB thing you're making bullets with or whatever. Shotgun shells. This also was in that box lot. I have a lot of these listed. So if anybody needs sprinklers, gear sprinklers, and I'm going to put up one of these because I got three of them. So I can get rid of one of them for like really, really cheap. These are salesman samples. Um, back in the day, it's, um, bar clay, like Formica pieces, samples. These are wood samples. They're all marked of types of wood. Back in the day, they come and you pick out, well, still, I guess you just go to the store and pick out a sample of what you, what pattern you want for your countertop, cupboards, whatever, and all that stuff. Whose hoarder house is that? Well, Greg, it's, I guess it's considered mine now, but it came from a hoarder house and that's why I'm getting rid of it. Oh, I got to get it out of here. Cause you know what I miss? I miss going and shopping. When you're a reseller, what's the most fun? Shopping. And with everything here, there's, it's stupid for me to go shopping. I have too much. I have to get rid of it. So, I just really want to go shopping. Yeah, Greg, that's right. You have no room to talk. Who's got, like, uh, I won't even go what you got, a double with, like, a triple, you no know, four stories or something? You can't even live in one saga so full. Come on. Okay, back to it. More. Um, uh, Trivial Pursuit Games. Postcards, brand new, never been opened. Nice collector things. Marvel Comics. Here's some cross. This is marked Italy. There's another one of those. I'll probably lot all these together. There's a beautiful rosary in here. Um, it is marked uh, Pope John Paul II. May 18th, 1920 to April 2nd, 2005. This is probably from 2005, I'm guessing. And that rosary is in there. And on here, there's pictures of, um, I'm not sure what they are. That looks like the Pope there. But it's really pretty. It's not plastic. It's, um, well, Jennifer, you know what that is. <laughs> Some kind of a jewel, rhinestone, I don't know. So there's that. Um, plates. Those are the three plates I have left of the Blessed Mother. I had, um, how many total were there of these? I want to say 12. I think there was 12 of these type of plates I had. And thank you, Debbie, for buying. Appreciate you buying some of them. But um, I sold all of them but these three. So the... 
they're going to go five dollars same if anybody wants those i should turn around here because here's some more plates i'm going to bring out this is again annie what is that how you say limoges 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 i think limoges plate limoges that's Alice in Wonderland plate. There's a Jesus plate. I have probably 50 different kinds of Jesus plates. There's the president's plate. This is Wedgwood. Wedgwood plate. There's that little basket. I didn't get to that last time. Rumpelstiltskin plate. I have a ton of this crafts and needles. If anybody wants it again, this is full. This one, this one. Yeah, these are brand new wars cloth. They're black. I think they're black or very dark navy blue. Four of them, set of four. Um, old Mickey Mouse wrapping paper. Huggies. If anybody needs Huggies or knows anybody, you're going to get these. I cannot put these on eBay. They won't let you put them on eBay. I guess there's been price gouging. I tried to list them, and they said no. So don't buy them and think you can sell them and put them on eBay because you can't. Um, <laughs> what did you say? Trish, you have your own store and be glad you don't have mask i know wanders out breathing <laughs> it is a store but i want to have uh be able to go buy more stuff do, 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 do. so you're all talking about yourself not trying to offend but not any around here know what distancing is ain't that the truth ain't that the truth hey cameron how's it going buddy jill what are you doing how's it going uh, you have really cool stuff. Yeah, this is most everything here is from the um, I did two different house cleanouts last year. So the plates, for example, the lady was a hoarder. You didn't see that, Jill. I I'll just take a walk here, Jill. Just just wait and see. This lady ordered these plates every single month in the month of the club. Of, they are Bradford Exchange. And there's also other ones. A ton of different ones. This is my storage area here. And um, she never opened most of them. She opened the one Blessed Mary ones. But um, the other, all the rest she did not open. They let, She left them in boxes and they were all stacked up on the floor in one bedroom. So my girlfriend and I, we got to get all of them. And so, okay, here, where do you see this? I have to move boxes. At least I did get them all numbered. They are um, all listed on my eBay store. So if everybody wants to go to my eBay store and see exactly what there are, here we go. Now you see all those plates? That's a stack of plates. And there's that many behind there back there too so that's four rows like that then we come down here and there's that's full back there and then we go up here and all those are plates so yeah there was over 125 plates we got them all and so i'm trying to sell all of them five bucks a piece these, I think, were so cute. But nobody wanted them last time when I showed them. I thought it cute little dots. It new in pack. I mean, coupe, coupe. I don't know how you say that. There is some really nice plates. I've sold some. We sold some at um, the flea market last summer. I've sold a lot online when I started listing them on eBay. But, um, yeah, I, I would really like to get rid of all of them. So back out here.
Yeah, that's what I say. Holy cow. <laughs> $5 each. Yep. You know how many thousands of dollars that lady probably spent buying these plates? These plates alone, if you wrap it exchange, I, I'm guessing she probably spent anywhere from $25 to $50 a piece, I would say. Especially those big ones that Cole, um, like Debbie bought one, the horse. What do you think, Debbie? Put in the chat about that horse plate that you bought last auction. Is that not beautiful? I mean, and the the lady, the knight of the lady or something, I forget what it's called. That plate is made out of the same material, but it's like a cream and a red color. Man, it's beautiful. And Annie knows too, because I sent Annie a whole bunch of them so she could help me uh, deface what the wording was because a lot of it was in French. So I sent Annie half a dozen. Of them. Had a COVID scare yesterday. I was at a friend's house Wednesday and helped me test a positive. We stayed outdoors by the pool the whole time, but I got tested and it came back negative. Thank God, Annie. Awesome. 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 You bought two of the blessed plates. They're beautiful. Plus you bought that horse plate too. Um, so they're all listed in my eBay store. If you want to go check them out. All right, let's get back to this table. I'm almost done here. Um, these I think are for planting or crafts or something. One, two, three, four, five. There's six of them. They're glass little pots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six of them. Um, some vintage magnets to put on the refrigerator. Got these off the house. Yeah, so we cleaned out. Most of this stuff came from that. And there was some stuff I don't have much left. I did sell a lot from my grandsons. My daughter-in-law's mother passed away. And they had to hurry up and empty the house. And they threw everything in the storage shed for a couple years. And they were tired of it. So... My grandson and I went through that and we had a couple of sales and listed a lot of stuff on uh, eBay. So I've, I've sold a lot of stuff from that. I'm just looking to see what it says, stainless steel. This is some old um, cutlery, old pieces. These look like ivory handled knives. They're pretty rusted though. But if anybody's interested in those, I'd like a lot them together or whatever you want to do. Here's an old uh, paper punch. This is new in box. Vintage little magno block. I guess it's magnetic, like that little owl. And there's a little magnet there. And you put them in there. Cute, though. It's never been opened. There's a year on there. The little fingers made in USA, so you know it's old. British, um, Hong Kong it says manufactured exclusively for Corporation New York, so maybe it was in Hong Kong for USA. I don't know, but anyways, here's um, some jugs get drunk. There's some Tupperware, those Tupperwares are pretty nice. There's no lids, but there's just the uh, Tupperware things. Here's a hat box. Threw a hat in there. I'm not going to open it. There's a hat in there. Anybody Miami Dolphin fans? Brand new. It's not very big one. That's what she said. <laughs> it's a nice vase. I think this is marked. Yeah, that's Royal um, Fenton. Oh, Royal Fenton. Made in England. Um, there's some milk glass. That's a nice piece. I always say don't... Um, Pick up milk glass unless it's different, bigger, or unique, um, or marked. And this one is marked. It's bigger. Look down what it says. Milk glass vase. Um, 
Ed Brody Company, Cleveland, USA. That's a good piece. And then we have this unique glass. I think this is Canada. Yeah, that's marked Canada. And I have no clue what this is. Old. I know it's Canada Dry Bottle, but it looks like somebody tried painting on it or something. I don't know. There's a nice big improv comedy club, Pittsburgh. Here's an old Weight Watchers key. I don't know if it's real brass, probably not. A couple plates. Royal Stafford Bone China, made in England. Is there anything here that's sparking anybody's eye? This is Williamsburg Wedgwood made in England. Pope Paris. Um, there's a couple little toy things. I they they run on wheels, batteries or something. I don't know what they're called. Chris, have you ever seen anything like these before? Let's see if there's a name on that tag. Yeah, I can't tell what that name is. Is it Luhu? Luce? Don't know what that is. But anyways, there's two of those. Little wheel things they run around and look like real mice, I guess. Oh, Christmas stuff. Here's a little owl. This I don't think is anything. But old, made in Taiwan. Taiwan, that means it's usually pretty old. Came from that house. Um, I think I showed these before, a set of these. Uh, I think these are just, somebody made these. Oh. Well, let's break them, then I don't have to sell them. There's a little froggy. And I don't know what these are made out of. They're wood or what. There's a froggy and an owl. Those. Here's a little um, Kingsburg. Bavarian. Very in China. Nice little piece. There's a little vase. It's marked Japan. There's another little bell. Altoona Curve. The train. And a thumbnail. The, uh, what's this called again? I forget what that's called. That matches. Same thing. It's got the train on it from Altoona Curve. Um, this is kind of cool little. Closes. I don't know what you'd put in here. That closes. Maybe pictures. And then it goes that way. And it's like that. Like a little book. Can't tell what's on there. Looks like people. <laughs> Glass. I had these up before, but nobody was interested. It's a little bu buggy and uh, sh baby shoe. Here's a little kitten. I don't know what you'd use that for. It's got like a little hole in the side. Here's a bear. Oh, it's marked. 19. Oh, there's an old bear. Old bear. Let's see. No, oh, not that old. I think it's 1989. Or 1999, made in Taiwan. Cute little bear. No chips or cracks. It's even got the stopper in it. That's rare. 
So we have all of that. I think I showed these puppies before. Cute little puppies. Marked. Um, cars chair. Trucks that work. Light up and run and move. That's pretty much it. And for those that didn't see all the baby's clothes, the kid's clothes, I'll get out of the way. There's a table full. All sizes. Newborn, 0 to 3, 3 to 6, 12 months, 18 months, 3T, 4T, size 7. And pretty much everything there, I'm going to put them in lots by sizes and be about 50 cents a lot, uh, a piece. So, for example, if there's like 20 pieces in one lot, it'll be like 10 bucks. Some really nice clothes. Here are my grandkids, and I can tell you they pretty much um, like in really good shape. Really nice shape. Unless you all want me to, as, you're go as I'm going through them, if somebody wants just one piece... It's yours for 50 cents. Like these. I bought these for my grandson. I don't think he wore them but once. Brand new. They're, they came like a pair of these. This is nice clothes. Gerbers. You can tell by looking at the tag how new it is. And by looking at the feet. I can't do the camera for nothing. See? See? Like brand new. These are uh, the, these are twelve months. Newborns. I don't think these were ever worn. Three to six months, a whole pile there. Anyways, all these clothes. Then we got bigger size. We have night shorts for summer. But I'll get into all that. And t-shirts, jeans. Bag of dresses, women's clothes from small, a few small with up to 3X, a couple pieces. Men's clothes, all sizes, baby coat, baby blanket, and vintage t-shirts. Single stitch, desert storm. A nice one there. Desert Storm. I don't think they were ever worn. No stains or anything on them. Another one. Yosemite Sam. Daffy Duck. There's no tag. If I were to guess, I would guess that's a medium. Somebody in Saudi Arabia loves me. Yeah, you know how old that is. Single stitch. I might list that one online myself. That one and... This one, Blue Angels, Extra Large, mm -hmm. looks like brand new. I can't see it. And I have to rewatch videos from doing the house clean out because I know somebody said they wanted this in chat and I got to find out who it is so I can give it to them. I'll just mail it to them for free. Whoever it is, I don't know. I got to find out. So I'll go back and rewatch. And here's a bag. Put your shoes in, I guess, or something. For under the bed. I don't know, or hang it up like that. 
hat. There's a monster high hat. The tag looks brand new. It feels brand new. Um, I think that's pretty much it for now. So if you guys seen anything you want or interested, or if you don't want any of this stuff, let me know ahead of time so I can put it away. And then um, I will take pictures and list and pull some other stuff out. So um, what do you guys think? Leave comments below. Let me know. That's what I want to do today. Before the game, which I think the game starts in about an hour. Um, or if there's something that you might want that you I didn't see, mention it and I might have it packed away that I didn't get to yet. That's a possibility too. I don't know. I'm just reading chat. Let's see if anybody come in. Looks like just the same Let's see. Oh, there's Carol now. Hello, Carol. You love the angels. The plate angels? Or the t-shirt angels? <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> Nana, do you have any wee stuff? Yes, I do. Yes. Why, well, yes, I do. Uh, wee games. Actually, I'm thinking of selling. I have it. This is what I have in wee. This, this is how I roll. I have the first original Wii. It came with the sports edition and everything and the remote controls and all of that. Then I have that goes with the Wii, the yoga board that you buy extra, that yoga board you stand on and the, big, the games that go with that. And then I have the like extra controller that you hook on the back of the original controller that was used to play boxing or cars or something like that. Those controllers, I have two of those, two regular controllers. And I have, I don't know how many games. I have a lot of uh, Wii Dance. I have a lot of Wii, I don't know, I'd have to look. <laughs> I don't know. But I do have Wii. If you're interested, put in the comments, after this goes and I'll pull out what you're interested in looking at or if you want to see it all. And what I'm thinking of doing is getting rid of the, all the whole system. Just get rid of it. Um, let's see. What else have I missed? Now, oh, did somebody post my eBay? I think uh, Jennifer did do that. I'm behind in chat. I'm sure that she did do that. I think I seen it. Um, oh yeah, got it. Thanks. Got it. Got it. Love those plates. Look, religion. Yeah. If you go to eBay, you will just be amazed how many religious plates there are. The light shines through that horse plate. Isn't it stone? Yeah, it's stone. How can the light shine through that? It's, um, it's, it's the material. It's McClure. I can't say it. Um, Cal oh, I can't say it, What I can't think of it, but it's a type of a stone, yes, unless it's a very, uh, like a clay stone, but I can't even believe the sun, like, or whatever can shine through it. I'd like one of those explosive bags for old rechargeable batteries. There you go. Come into the auction. It's going in the auction. Okay. Um, you say Weight Watchers key? Yeah, that's what this says. Where did it go? It's an old, old, um, feels like brass, but I don't think it is. See, it says Weight Watchers key to the future. You can tell it's got that patina on it that it makes it like brass. I guess it's brass. It's kind of heavy. I should test it. I have a tester now. I bought one. 
And that's the Weight Watchers symbol thing. So that's that. Um, let's see what else. The key unlocks the fridge. Yeah, Fanny. <laughs> to get in the fridge when you're starving. I need that fridge empty. Yeah. The religious place. My kids had those. I forgot what they are called. Oh, those, these little mousy things. Yeah, I don't know. They were my grandkids. And actually, my grandson that's autistic was scared of them. So they, oh, there they are. They're called Zuzu pets. Actually, that's what I think that says on there, huh? Kung Zhu, like Kung Fu, but Z-H-U. Very good. I knew somebody would know that. Many things I like. Incense lamp, nice. Blue thingy, that blue vase thingy, I guess. Figurines, I can't remember because I've already seen too much. I know. Tell me about it. Let's see. And you take great pictures of your items for sale. Wow. And I thought my pictures were horrible. Thank you, Gloria. Dang. I'm always complaining about my pictures. They're terrible. I have no kids that little. Thank goodness. <laughs> yes, they were all my grandkids. And um, they're growing up too fast. Too, too fast. You have five granddaughters. And that's funny because all these clothes are grandsons. <laughs> so they're all boys. But not that small. Aw. Thank you, Jennifer, for dropping my eBay store. I appreciate that so, so much. Nana, can you explain how this is going to work? Days, etc. Thank you. Um, well, every two, every other Tuesday, Victoria and I are having an auction, and it's going to be Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, February 9th, 7:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I show like three things. And then Victoria shows three things. And then I, and we go back and forth and we show as much as we can. And we'd like to go for about two hours of show and stuff for auction. So it's going to be this Tuesday. And then we skip a Tuesday. And then the next Tuesday after that, it will be on Victoria's channel. We go back and forth every other Tuesday on each other's channel and just auctioning off stuff. And um, like cheap a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, five dollars, um, unless it's something that's really valuable that I have, which, um, like, I don't know, maybe like the hall pottery or the McCoy pottery, those might go, I might ask like four dollars or something. And this way, you guys, if you see this and watch this video back, stop it. If there's something you think you might like, research it if you want to resell it and see what the value is of it. Um, if you don't want it to resell just for personal use, then uh, you could do that too. I'm so far behind. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Jennifer Hayes, for a single stitch shirt, there will be only one roll of stitches on the sleeves, cuffs, as opposed to, yeah. I didn't know if you, um, let me show you. This is not vintage. You see how there's two rows of stitching? So that's this. That's only one way to tell because actually there are vintage shirts now that have two rows of stitching. Then you have to look at the tag and um, verify on the tag that sometimes they're dated because now it is 2021. So because anything in the ninth, late 1900s, I think they started doing double stitching late uh, 80s, early 90s. So those are still con are now considered vintage. And here's this shirt. And you see it's just one row of stitching. But you do have to be careful because there's so much knowledge about the single stitch and the double stitch now. Some of it could be fake. But that's a good way to tell is 
um, by the tag. If there's a tag and the tags will have dates on them and who the maker is on the tag. I know that the, um, yeah, that's how I know. All these are vintage t-shirts. The tag, it will say uh, made in USA. That's a key. That's for sure. If it's made in USA, because, you know, China shirt, they made them for a long time. Okay, what else did I miss? Yes, I want to see where you look at, see if it's single stitch. I'm, I'm guessing you got that then on the sleeves. There is other ways to tell. A lot of times back in the day, I don't know if any of these have them or not, but underneath the graphics, there actually will be a date. Nope, that's just names. Names. Nope, none of these have them. But a lot of times, like at the bottom of the graphics and really small type print underneath here, it'll have a date if the date's not on the tags. Maybe that had it. And you can tell by, I guess, what it is. Somebody, Saudi Arabia, Desert Storm. I mean, those are long, long time ago. Nope. So that's a little bit about the vintage t-shirts. Um, oh, you like the Blue Angels tee? Yeah, I do too. That is a nice t-shirt. I got that, like I said, at that, the one honey hole that I go to with my friend. A couple of those t-shirts. I think they were... 75 cents, 50 cents. I can't remember. I know they were less than a dollar, less than a dollar vintage t shirts. Um, do you have any Snoopy snow cone machines? I do not. No, I wish that's very random, very specific. I like it. Okay, do you have any CSI games? I don't know what that is. Because I'm not a gamer. I do have some vintage stuff that uh, is the Blue Angel tea going to be in the auction. I'm not sure if the price is right. I'm not going to sell it for a dollar or two, even though I paid only a dollar for it. Because I know online, if I put it on eBay, research it, I have to research. I'm probably get minimum, I would say. 35 for it. I've, I've sold vintage t-shirts. I've sold quite a few that I've gotten at Goodwill for $1.99 or 99 cents or less than a dollar. Um, the Van Halen one I got, those sell really well. Concert t-shirts sell really well. I sold that for, I think it was $95. I just sold, um, who was that? I just sold oh, I can't think of that. They were, they, all the ones I sold so far were um, concert, old concert t-shirts, which those do sell the best. Well, I shouldn't say the best, but they do sell very well. And it sold for, um, $45 plus ship. Well, you can actually, I think it might still be listed on my eBay store. If you want to go look at it, that it, it I think it just sold not that long ago. Um, so what's the most popular brands of vintage tees? The old Jersey tag, that's a good one to look at. Jersey tee, the heavy, um, let me look what this one is. Heavy, heavyweight, uh, you would know it, I would think, just by, uh, TJ, TJ's, like something like that, that you know is going to be made in the, oh, sorry, USA, not China. Just by looking at that, you can tell 
made in USA or um yeah and you can tell that how new that tag is that this shirt probably has never been um cleaned but it'll have a heavy weight and it'll have a tag obviously there's not going to be a vintage shirt that's tagless that didn't happen till you know 10 years back or something these other ones do not have tags at all yeah, here's a heavyweight. This one is a Hanes. But you can tell the difference in the tags from today's ta clothes with tags to like that. Hanes. And there again, it says made in USA. Sure sign right there. I hope that kind of helps. Yes, I definitely list them on eBay. Yeah, the couple of them I think I will. The Desert Storm ones, um, because they don't have tags, without tags, they're not going to be as valuable. So I, I just might get rid of them at the auction um, and not bother. It's, I hate listing clothes. It's so... Pain. It's worth it if I'm going to make, you know, $30, $40. It's worth it. If I'm going to only make $10, $15, $20, bucks, it's not worth it for me to try to do the measuring, take the pictures and all that. I'm old, Jennifer, and my retention. <laughs> I need things to see Russ. Yeah, I hear that. I can't edit clips. Yes, you can, and we're going to work on that. But your phone, I kill that phone. There you go. Screen Stars is an old tag. Thank you, Lisa. Good for you, Debbie. I don't think I'd ever confidence you into me. Yes. I didn't think I'd ever convince you into making any videos. I know. We're getting her there, though. I figured if Nana can do it, at least that's right. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Trust me. I thought you were showing stuff for your auction. Sorry, I came in late. I was listening. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm showing stuff for the auction we're having Tuesday night, Tuesday night, not tonight. So Tuesday, this is the stuff I'm going to show. So what I want to do, because I have so much stuff, I'm hoping people, if you see something you're interested, you let me know in comments when this posts so that those are things I can pull first, because there's no way I'm going to get through all of this stuff in one night. There's just no way. And if I don't start getting rid of it the next couple of weeks, uh, the next, not couple of weeks, the next couple of times that we have auctions, then I'm going to either give it to my girlfriend for the flea market this summer because she's doing the flea market, or I'm going to list it on eBay in my eBay store. But you guys, if it'd be just so much easier for me to sell it to you for like almost nothing, just to get rid of it because I'm just like that, you know? So yeah, if, if you do see anything, let me know. And I think that's all I got. What did Gloria say? I'm doing clothes right now as I'm with you. I agree. Clothes are a pain in the neck. They are. They're horrible. And then even if you do pictures with sizes and you show the sizes, you're still going to get a million questions. How are the questions that come in? Well, what does the bottom look like? Or, well, what color is that really? Or, you know, it's just clothes are just to pay. I don't anybody that has posh god bless you I couldn't I would be too I'd have to set something on fire Doritos or something <laughs> yeah but I will box up some of those clothes in box lots and put them on eBay if I don't sell them here cuz I uh, don't measure kids' clothes, baby clothes. That's really stupid. I would not measure them. Why would you? It's going to fit either zero to three months or three to six months. And that is what it is. It's kind of obvious. I don't think there's a much difference as far as measurement. Like there is when you get in the older like jeans and pants and women's clothes and stuff. So I will box those up in lots and sell them. It's a lot of clothes. That's a lot of clothes. And that's not even all, guys. That's not even all. I have another whole rack in my storage room of clothes yet, too. And a lot of these clothes have tags on them. Still new with tags. 
A lot of them don't have the tag, but they're new because I bought them for myself. And if you haven't noticed, my arms are huge. I inherited that from my mother. I'm, I'm fat anyways and big, but my arms are, she always had big arms. Even if I was a tiny, thin little thing, my arms would be as big as my thighs. So when I think I see something online and I like it and I buy it and I get it and I try it, it doesn't fit my arms. So that's what some of these tops are. A lot of when um, LuLaRue was popular, I've got a lot of that stuff, which yeah, isn't worth anything anymore. They just summer all my ducks. I saw that. Yeah, that's cute. Right, check. Got it. Okay. So that's everything, guys, for now. I'm going to get off here. My battery is about ready to die. Thank you for stopping in. Please, if there's anything you want or anything that you're interested, go back and leave a comment here because I don't want to rewatch the video and look at all the comments. It's easier just to look at the comments below after this video post. So if, if you could please do that, I would appreciate it. And anybody coming in and watching this later, please leave a comment because I'm going to look at it tonight. I'm going to look at it tomorrow. I'll poll our real range. If there's something you, there's no interest at all on this table, let me know that too, because I'll just pack it up and start getting rid of it. Okay, guys, that's all for now. Go enjoy the game. Have some pizza, number one food, Super Bowl time, or wings, number two food, Super Bowl time. We had wings last night. And uh, enjoy the rest of the afternoon, guys. Thanks for stopping by and checking it out. Appreciate y'all. Um, don't forget, please come to the auction on um, Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there or be square. See y'all later. Bye.